Studio Tour 2023. Let's go! Welcome back in the studio, guys. My name is Flesh and this is the room where I create all the content you see on my YouTube channels and uh, you might ask, what are you doing with all this equipment? I am a content creator for almost eight years now and uh, I enjoy, I really enjoy doing this. So this setup evolved over time into what you see today. So bring a drink, don't forget to subscribe, let's grow this channel too and uh, enjoy my bad English and the uh, setup tour. Let's go! On the ceiling above the setup we have some audio foam panels that help me get rid of the echo. The window is covered by those blinds which are a blackout type. No light gets through as you can see. This is a storage unit from Ikea I think and uh, this is a shelf unit uh, again from Ikea in which we have uh, some uh, camera bags with equipment, some uh, chargers, is a charging station also and uh, the air conditioning up in the corner. Printer, tools, toolboxes because in the past time we did a lot of modifications and a lot of DIY stuff, not only in the studio but also for the motorcycle and the cars. Elgato key lights and I use them because they are very slim and they don't take a lot of space in the room. This is the secondary door for this room and also here we have the wardrobe with some random boxes on the top and on the left side we have again the same curtains that uh, are blackout but here they uh, provide the, the soundproofing that we need for the studio because on the other side is another room. This is my second desk chair and this is a couch that also extends or turns into a bed. Audio treatment again. Another uh, shelf unit from Ikea, I think this is how it's called my uh, motorcycle helmet, some uh, award from gaming video awards, um, some fake plants, um, perfumed candle, my YouTube button, the one and only at the moment, my old motherboard and some uh, microphones uh, in uh, boxes that uh, need uh, to be easy to access when I need them. By the way, this is the chair that I'm rocking, is from a local brand that will extend in Europe very soon. I think they uh, already started uh, expanding, but uh, it is uh, a very, very nice chair and I'm uh, very happy with it, very comfy. But now I need to move it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> On the floor we have some newer RGB lights, this is a foot stand, this is also a foot stand. And let's start with the desk. So uh, here is a place for random stuff. This uh, place gets really messy in the everyday use because uh, here we throw a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, random stuff, uh, tools, uh, laptops, uh, tablets, phones, uh, wallets, uh, batteries, I don't know. And uh, here I have some uh, cleaning products, some tissues, some uh, uh, wet uh, wipes, uh, some uh, alcohol for uh, cleaning uh, stuff, cleaning uh, screens. Uh, don't clean screens with the alcohol. The tablet or the phone screen protector can take the alcohol uh, with no problem in my opinion. Here I have an improvised uh, tripod for my camera. This is a microphone stand and this is uh, weight. Here we have chargers, uh, pens and also other random stuff and uh, this is my iPad mini on top of the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro is the one that I take uh, almost everywhere when uh, I need to go and also work, also uh, do something quick uh, or uh, stay connected with the people I work with. You can also edit videos on it if you really need it. And uh, this is my favorite pair of headphones, the ATH M50X is from Audio-Technica, the purple edition because the purple fits very well with the studio. This is my main camera, it is the Panasonic GH5S with the wide angle 8 to 18 millimeters lens and it is mounted on a monitor arm because the monitor arms are more sturdy than the light stands from Elgato. <laughs> Let's turn on the vacuum cleaners. Okay. <laughs> and this is the biggest achievement from the studio this year. And I say that because I've just finished my DIY project for mounting this camera on top 
of the desk to have an uh, over desk camera for reviews. This light stand from Elgato was my first solution for mounting a camera on top of the desk, but it wasn't a reliable solution because look at it. Look how it wobbles. So yeah, no chance for it to take the weight of the GH5 with the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeters lens. So yeah, this thing here is very heavy and uh, look at it. It is pretty stable, pretty stable. Not 100%, but if I want to be uh, sure that it will never wobble, I need to mount it from the ceiling or um, better said, it shouldn't be tied in uh, any way to the desk because the desk will get hit, moved, touched, I don't know, and uh, this will uh, move a bit, but uh, it is no problem. It has uh, image stabilization, it is the GH5 Mark II, so it will be pretty good and also because this stand can take a lot of weight because it can hold a monitor, I mounted here the Ninja V recorder from Atomos for uh, monitoring the focus on here and when I need the monitor for other projects and the camera I can disassemble everything and uh, remake the rig that I use for filming reviews. So yeah, it was very hard to find this solution and uh, to find the best arm to make it work because I wanted to have the same space in my room. I didn't want it to take all of the space behind the desk with a tripod and uh, the tripod also needs uh, counterweights because the camera is heavy and it is very complicated. So let's move on to the gaming and streaming PCs. So these two monitors are the gaming PC monitors. Here on the left, it is the streaming PC one. I should have another monitor for the streaming PC, another display to make fine adjustments, but at the moment I can handle it with just one. And on the desk we have the peripherals that I use for uh, the gaming and streaming PC, of course. This is the Corsair K70 keyboard, this is the Logitech MS MX keys, two XL stream decks and uh, the Logitech MX Anywhere or something mouse. And this is the ugliest mouse that I have ever owned and tested. It is the best one for my hand at the moment. My favorite microphone mounted on an Elgato microphone stand. This is the RE20 Black Edition with a custom purple cable that I've soldered for it. Here we have some random stuff like the wireless headset that I use when I am driving and the microphone that I am using right now, the DJ Mic Kit. And this is the main piece from my audio setup, the MG16 XU Yamaha mixer, the best and really the one that can satisfy all my audio needs. This light is crooked, why? <laughs> Let's move it, okay. This is a USB hub for my gaming PC and oops, I forgot about the audio monitors that I use, which are the KRK Rocket 5 G3, G2, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, they are great, but they are uh, used uh, very rare in the studio. They are not in a proper position, as you can see. And I was thinking about raising the displays, the monitors, and uh, mounting the audio monitors on the bottom of them, but they will take a lot of space. I'm not decided yet if I will do this or not. But who knows, maybe we DIY some new stuff and we mount them right here. <laughs> also, I can turn on the camera, the top-down shot. And this will be the framing for my upcoming videos on the channel. A few days ago, I found that I can <laughs> stick some uh, sticky notes on the bottom of my monitor and it works pretty well because I tend to forget a lot of stuff when I have a lot of stuff to do. I am the kind of person that really takes the contracts and agreements very serious, so yeah, this is why I take notes. Also, if you would like to see a video about the most efficient and uh, space-saving uh, way to mount a camera on top of the desk, uh, please let me know in the comments. This is the gaming PC and this is the streaming PC. The gaming PC has a 7950X CPU with a RTX 3090. The streaming PC has a 3950X with a RTX 2080. 32 gigs of RAM on both, DDR5 and DDR4. And on this side, under the desk, we have the 
audio rack that holds the processing part of the audio chain. So here is the mic preamp and processor for the main microphone. The two sound cards that I use, uh, the Scarlett 2i2 interfaces. This headphone amp needs to go because I don't use it anymore. And here we have a power conditioner that is very important for the audio setup. But now you might ask why all of this and not something more uh, modern and new like the Rodecaster Pro 2. <laughs> the first card is already full. So here we have uh, two reasons. The first one being that the audio setup looks like this and has these components for uh, almost four years, I think. And uh, back then it wasn't any Rodecaster uh, Pro or something like the um, Go XLR or uh, any digital firmware controlled, driver controlled uh, pieces of gear. And the second reason here, which is the most important one, is that the analog gear that I use doesn't have any driver or firmware related bug, doesn't depend on any driver, any USB cable, it works and that's it and I can rely on it. I know that every time when I uh, raise any fader on this mixer like this, I know that I have the microphone on, it is at the best level, it sounds as it should and it will not crash until the electricity drops down, you know, and uh, this is the best thing about this gear that takes a lot of space in the studio. But trading some space in exchange uh, of uh, reliability and stability is uh, not a problem for me because I know that I get very angry when I am losing files, recordings, when my microphone doesn't sound right and things like that. And I think I'm not the only one. This is the productivity corner. This is where I edit and produce all of my content here on the MacBook because I've stopped using the Windows machines for editing and uh, I like to use the Apple ecosystem because it is uh, really enjoyable to use. I have all of my devices synced, I have my notes everywhere and everything works seamlessly. And from the streaming PC moving on to the left, it is the gaming and the production, let's say, corner, or at least this is how it is uh, split up here at the top floor because uh, it is not uh, separated in any means. But <laughs> yeah, I, I see it like this. Here I work, here I play. Let's move on to the M1 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch, one terabyte SSD, 32 gigs of RAM. And this is the machine that does all the video editing, the scripting, the work because I am not doing only content creation. I also work uh, in a social media department and uh, this is what I use for almost everything. And uh, it is great. It is uh, very nice to work on it. It works uh, better than my high-end. Uh, it was high-end, it is not right now. But uh, yeah, it works better than my gaming PC, which is the most powerful and it is mounted on a monitor arm with a laptop stand attached. Here I have the Samsung 2TB uh, T7 SSD, which holds all of my audio, video and image library. The Apple trackpad, Apple keyboard and the same headphones, but the Bluetooth edition. Here we have some notebooks. I forgot about the mouse. This is the MX Master 3S from Logitech, the white one, and it is uh, pretty nice because it has the silent clicks on it. Uh, other than that, uh, there is no much of a difference between it and the older uh, version. The camera just overheat and I needed to allow it to cool for some minutes. So this is the SM7B, my first dynamic microphone, and this is the one that I've mounted on this side of the desk because I plan to do some new videos about studio related stuff, let's say. This is my graphics tablet that I use when I am doing uh, the graphics for the channels. And uh, here are some artificial plants. And this is the Rodecaster Pro 2, the audio tool that sounds like a dream, but 
it is not. It is, it is very nice. It has a lot of functions. It can replace all of my audio setup, but as you can see, I use it just here on the productivity side to record some uh, other microphones, to play maybe some uh, music, to record my microphone right now, but I cannot rely on it. This thing is great, but it needs a lot of firmware fixes and it has right now a lot of bugs. This costs less than my audio setup and it can replace everything that you saw earlier but was uh, analog and was big and heavy and bulky. But uh, this is the second unit. The glue is coming off or uh, the, the plate is coming off because the glue doesn't hold it. Uh, the first one had some issues and I have returned it after two hours of use because I've opened it I've uh, made some wire management, connected it, and uh, the right side buttons, I forgot the, the sample buttons, I forgot how are they called, had some uh, hardware issue that uh, if I was touching the desk or touching the case or uh, touching any other button, the orange one was activating, it was activated every time. So I was like hitting a bit the desk, crickets started, playing. I don't have the headphones connected right now, but yeah, this one has some other issues with Bluetooth uh, and uh, it is uh, not reliable like the analog audio gear that I was uh, presenting you earlier. Beside the hardware problems, let's say they can fix that in the factory, let's say it was a bad lot, they can replace the glue, they can replace the buttons, but the device was released uh, over a year ago, I think, and it still has a lot of firmware issues, they are working on it, I agree with that, but it needs a lot uh, more uh, work and fixes so I can rely on it and uh, let's say replace all of my analog gear to use another equipment like this. It is a lot more to talk about it, so we might make a video about it. And the last thing that I want to show you is the wire management. So I have under the desk some wire management racks from IKEA and a lot of DIY solutions. And it took a very, very long time, like uh, over than a week, I think, to make everything tidy. And this is how it looks on the backside. And I'm pretty happy with it. Here is not as tidy as it should be, but I need to replace the monitor arms right here and then I will uh, tie up everything again and it will be much nicer than this. I forgot to turn on the light strips. It happens. So guys, this was my setup tour. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new on the channel and I know that everything is uh, very complex and I should make videos about sections of the studio like the audio stuff and present it uh, from the start to the finish talk more about it present you some settings and things like that so i might do it and also about the cameras the microphones uh, maybe we'll review the microphones the headphones and all the things here i'm working on that the biggest problem is the time so give it a like if you liked it and see you soon flesh out <laughs>